I cheated on my husband three months ago. I need advice on how to make this right. Hi, made a Reddit account to hopefully find some way to fix things between my husband and I. I would like to first of all say please don't send me hate. I can assure you with 100% certainty anything you send to me I have already told myself. I am just looking for advice on how I can fix things and we can be a loving couple again. Three months ago I went on a business trip, three-day trip. On the first night I went out for drinks with some of my co-workers. While out a man started flirting with me and I liked the attention. My husband has always been loving and supportive. He's handsome, in incredible shape, and he constantly compliments me. I don't know why I felt so gratified by this random guy but I did. After way too many drinks I went with him to his apartment and we had sex. Immediately afterwards I realized what I had done and left. I cut my part in the work trip short saying I felt ill and went home. I immediately confessed to my husband. I told him everything. Offered to answer all his questions. He just said he needed to go for a walk and when he came back he just asked me if I liked it. I was honest with him. I didn't it was fumbly drunk sex with a man that clearly didn't care if I enjoyed it. This guy is nowhere near as good as my husband is. I told him all of this. He just stood there looking at me and told me he needed to go out for a bit to think and left again. He was gone for a couple of hours and finally stumbled back through the front door really drunk. He could barely speak kind of drunk. This has now become a common theme since it happened. He's gone from drinking maybe three times a month at the most to drinking every night. And not just drinking but getting blackout drunk and passing out either in our backyard or on the couch. He started smoking cigarettes again, he quit two years ago. He's been blowing off our friends when they invite him out to events. He just goes to work, comes home, drinks and smokes, passes out. He hasn't gone to the gym since I told him. He used to go five times a week. He barely eats anything. Whenever I try to talk to him he just responds with short answers or mumbles. We had our first marriage counseling session today and he barely spoke. The counselor tried to get something out of him but he just did the same. Short answers or mumbles. I've offered everything I can think of to make things right. I've been doing the things he has always done for me. Make coffee for him each morning, tell him he's handsome, offer to do errands for him. He doesn't seem to care anymore. He just seems like a shell of his former self. I'm really scared I've done something irreparable. I haven't seen him smile this entire time. Two nights ago he came back from whatever pub he has been drinking at with a bloody nose and a black eye. I was horrified and tried to find out what happened. He just told me to fuck off. He started telling me I might as well go find the guy I cheated with so I can be happy. I tried telling him I've always been happy with him but he threw it back in my face asking why I cheated then. I don't have an answer. I've spent these months racking my brain but I can't think of a single reason why I did it. He wasn't better looking, nicer, in better shape, more attentive, anything. That conversation when he came back with the bloody nose and black eye is the longest one we've had since I told him what I did. I don't know what to do. Have I ruined my marriage? I'm asking the men here, is there something your cheating partner did that made you feel better? I'm lost. I love my husband more than anything and watching him spiral is killing me. Please I need advice. If I've done anything in this post the wrong way can someone let me know. I really need advice and I've never really used Reddit before. My sister recommended that I make a post. I'm, I'm going to say, right, when women cheat, it's different than men. When men cheat, it's usually just, you know, it's detachment. You're detached, right? You're, men can, I think in general, can cheat without having emotions in it. You know, they can cheat with someone they barely feel anything for. And it wouldn't really change necessarily in most cases wouldn't change his feelings for his significant other but let's even if you disagree with that right there's still the fact that i believe when a woman cheat she's lost respect for the man there was a problem in it where she just didn't she needed more she didn't respect him enough to stay faithful to him She felt things were lacking because you think of this. She said, she said pretty much the marriage was perfect. His he was perfect, in a sense. But yet, other lesser men's validation was enough for her to cheat on him. Make it make sense, right? When and this guy was so amazing. Yet, you know, like I said, a man that's of lesser quality. Um complimented her, gave her attention, gave her validation, that was enough to make her cheat. Does, that don't make, really make sense unless, unless she, you know, didn't, she had some inkling of, you know what, I'm not as in love with this man or this man is lacking or, um, or I just don't respect this man anymore, right? I don't see this man as someone I would respect also I've said it in other videos where women are ruled by their emotions right they they some women crave the drama they crave the up and downs that 
comes with emotions. Just like, you know, creating some kind of drama to spice up their life. And that is a problem that you see. And I think that's also an issue that men don't want to deal with. What, what man wants to deal with drama? Especially this type of drama. So I don't think um, it is in his best interest to be with this woman. I think it would be his to his best interest to actually divorce her and leave her because here's a woman that truly is immature in the mind where she's sure where she doesn't see the um, where she is not strong in emotion right strong enough in emotion to weather you know certain kind of storms whether the the um, a feeling of um, other men's uh, validation other men's attention you know and that's the that's the issue where well, that's the thing where I said it you know again problem with women their craziness of emotion their need that their need for the dopamine hit dopamine hit that you know the ups and downs of emotion that brings <clears throat> um, and her lack of respect for her partner so really there is I believe <clears throat> there's no no correcting her mistake because this this is a <clears throat> it's a a situation where he can't trust her anymore and you know if he gave her this is the point where it's it fascinates certain people where if you gave your partner everything right you did the best you can and usually your partner has very little to no complaints and yet they could still cheat on you and destroy your world or whatever there's really nothing else you could do and that is this case where there's really nothing he can do to you know to gain that trust in her again you know he can't trust this woman ever again so I don't know I I don't I would say you're shit out of luck you know she's shit out of luck she can't she shouldn't be going with this man anymore because he sounds like a good guy so she should they should divorce and go the separate way and she should take her own time to mature mentally you know and understand what she truly wants because again if you wanted commitment if you want you know to be with just one person right and you're happy with just one person and you found a person that you have you see very little faults in well then there should not be any reason to make you falter so she really doesn't know what she truly wants do you truly love the attention of other men well some women do or a good chunk of women do so yeah I mean she needs a lot of um, mental ma mature uh, mental maturity you know to happen with her so yeah